Okay, introduce your, your interview with Tom Selleck. All right, right. Well, and actually, darling, Tom Selleck has two movies coming out. We have to plug this because he was Certainly. so lovely. Uh, An Innocent Man and also Her Alibi. Mm -hmm. And so that, you know, they're both going to be currently released. And then you'll see Quigley Down Under, which is wonderful. Right, okay, well, here's, uh, here's the meeting of the Titans. Jeannie Little <laughs> versus Tom Selleck. Darling, welcome to Australia from the Thank Big Show. Darling, now, honestly, going right, right back, was it you who was the wonderful um, <laughs> hunk in, been reading a lot, in Myra you? Breckenridge? I was, I was. That you was see, great. Isn't that fantastic? Well, you, you have worked, been reading. You worked with the two world uh, sex in I didn't work with Raquel. Oh, that. wasn't she in that? Yeah, she was in it, but but I just had a little scene with Mae West, and and she kind of cast her own things, and then she wrote her own dialogue. And her big concern about me was that I was too tall. And so she, she had me up to her apartment. Oh, darling, tell me all about <laughs> my ways. I mean, we want to know about you, too. And she tried to, to show me how to stand with my legs apart. This is good, <laughs> so that I was shorter. It was all very professional. But it, I wasn't sure when, when I was asked to go up to her apartment what was going to happen. Actually, you love Western. So what age did you learn riding? Uh, I learned riding for real yes. when I was about 20. <laughs> Eight or 29. I thought you might have been born in the saddle, so to speak. I was born in the saddle, but that's a different story. <laughs> we, it's a different expression in our time. I see. Oh, uh, oh uh, is that bad? Uh, no, no, it's not really bad at all. Oh, that's all right. Oh, dear. Pardon me, darling. Um, darling, actually, our politicians have been talking about their night attire. The witch? And all of our politicians. Have been talking about talking what? Talking about what they wear to bed. Oh, their night attire. Yes. Yeah, so I thought it was some major issue or something. Oh, no, they don't talk about no. major issues. I, what do you want to know what I wear to bed? Yes, does everybody ask that? Oh, that's the perfect answer. Was it difficult making the transition from television to film? Because in our country, they have yeah. you all in little spots. Boxes. And they do that in America too a lot. I think it happens. It's, I think it's breaking down. I, I don't know about here, but it is in, in the States, and uh, I think that's good. I mean, if you look at the American film stars, uh, about three-quarters of them came out of television shows. Our, our, probably our biggest movie stars. I mean, Eddie Murphy is, came straight out of an American television show. So people have kind of grudgingly had to admit that you can cross over and that, I think that's good for actors and uh, if it hasn't happened here it's going to happen here. Darling, so do you really you know have a hankering to get on the stage? And... Yeah I almost got on the stage last year <laughs> but it didn't work out because uh, I got offered a movie with Bruce Beresford that I wanted to do mm -hmm. but um, yeah I'm, I'm gonna do something on the stage I think in New York pretty soon it's something I want to do it's something I haven't had a chance to do so it'll be a, a risk and I, I kind of like taking and chances. And so can't you tell us what it's called? Well, I almost did Mr. Roberts. Now I don't know what I'll do. I'm all right, darling. Well, I think that it's time for me to go. So, can I just say to all of Australia, yeah. I've touched Tom Seller. <laughs> just electrifying. Well done, Jeannie. He does well done. Well. So, thank you. But honestly, Julie, thanks for me having to sit there. Didn't you think I was restrained, pulling myself right down? For as long as I live, I will never forget that a major star called Tom Selleck arrived in Australia, <laughs> sat down on the lounge at the Siebel Town House, and all of a sudden this blonde lady came out with three cockatoos. <laughs> And had a chat to him. Did he say anything to you off camera? Yes, saying at the beginning. Get of, out of here. At, at the beginning of the press conference, yeah. he walked in and he said, "I've heard about you with the birds on your shoulders." And I said, "Darling, where you're going at Alice Springs, you're We've going heard to, about you with the birds on your shoulders. You're going to have them sitting on your shoulder too." Yeah, right. <laughs>